What's up, fish fans? Dave Palumbo here from Muscle Fish, and I know I've been gone for four long years, but I'm back. I moved from uh, New York to Florida, and now I'm in my new house, uh, settled in. I've been breeding uh, a lot of snakes and reptiles. If you check out my Muscle Serpents University page, you'd see that. But uh, that's ball pythons, boa constrictors, carpet pythons, and I have turtles and tortoises. I have everything, except I, I just hadn't had fish. So I decided, all right, I'm gonna get a fish tank. I found uh, the tank I was looking for. I didn't want anything too, too big. I'm starting off at a 75 gallon. You guys are gonna see my whole process of how I picked up this tank and what I'm gonna be doing to it. I'm gonna be showing you over the next couple of videos uh, how I'm getting this tank up and running, what fish I'm gonna be putting in it. And then there's another exciting project uh, that I'm gonna let you guys in on also and tell you what's going on with that. It involves something really big fish-wise, so you guys are going to really like this. So I appreciate all the support of the channel and all the views you guys have been giving to the, uh, the channel over the last couple of years, even though I haven't put a single video up. And I promise you, you're going to see some great stuff over the coming months and, and over the next, hopefully, years. So we're back here at Muscle Fish. All right, so here's my tank now. I've been converting my turtle tank into a fish tank, but I decided that this 55 is not big enough. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I picked up a bigger tank. I'm going to pick it up. I got actually the tank in my minivan here, but I couldn't fit the stand. See, I shoehorned in the tank. There's a nice 70 gallon tank. And now I'm gonna go with my mother-in-law and we're gonna, in her truck, I should have gone originally with her and we're gonna pick up the stand. And you guys are gonna see the, the reemergence of Muscle Fish Channel. We're getting our first tank. All right, I just picked up the stand to go with the 70 gallon tank. It's in pretty good shape. I might have my mother-in-law who likes to refinish wood. I might have her just put a nice uh, shiny coat black on there. Kind of make it a little more water resistant since I tend to spill a lot of water when I do water changes. <laughs> it's going to eventually go over there in that spot where I had that old tank. Although we're redoing the garage. So I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to fill the tank up until and redo everything until the garage is, is walls are painted and then I'm going to get the floor redone. So we're redoing the whole garage and then I might actually, I think I'm going to relocate the tank on the other side of the refrigerator and we're going to replace that refrigerator probably too because it leaks a little bit and i don't want to ruin the new floor so we're going to put the um the tank on the other side which will be next to the sink which is great so i can do water changes so i have the the sink over there i could do my i can actually siphon right into the sink i don't even need to use but my put my python on there and i have my my turtles right here obviously those are my albino red ear sliders i have in there i have some albino pink belly side neck turtles. They're Asian water turtles. And I have some uh, Timor snake neck turtles in there too. They're, they were babies. They, they just, now they're actually able to hang out in this tub. I know a lot of people separate all the species in different tubs. I actually like, I like seeing them all together. You know, it's, it's a big tub. There's a lot of room for swimming. I do a lot of water changes on this. So it's, it's pretty, the water's good quality. And they seem to get along. I don't know if it, it'll affect their breeding behavior because they're not all because they're all together. But I really don't want to have. I breed snakes, you know, mostly. So I don't need to have 14 tubs of turtles, you know, too. Unless I, unless I, I build another facility, which I'm thinking about doing. So for now, these guys are over here. The new fish tank will be over there. Actually, I just bought this light. This light, I bought it on Amazon. It is unbelievable. Look how bright it. It really brightens this tank up tremendously. Um, and I like the fact that it actually sits on the, the lip of the tank there. Um, so you don't even really even need a top. Now I can put that flush on the tank if I want to, and I might do it on the new tank. The new tank actually has glass tops. I'm debating whether, that, you know what? I, I like the way it looks without a top, but you know what? You lose a lot of water and some fish jump. And if you have an expensive fish, God forbid it jumps out of the tank, you know? So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I do like, if you, if you don't like to go with tops, this, these, this light is really nice. It's a Heiger light, it's an HG918, and it's 48 inches for a 48 inch tank, which is a four foot tank. And so I got that from Amazon, pretty pretty decent price. I think about 40 bucks I paid for it. And it's, it's got great, you know, you can change all the colors and stuff like that if you want. It's, I'll show you the uh, little control thing. I haven't even played with it actually, but I just got it the other day. So it's got a little, control thing here where you can kind of like play around with the light colors. 
way. Oh, there we go. All different colors. I like a white light, personally, so to me, I'm not gonna, I probably won't play with it that much, but it's a nice, a nice little, for the price, for the bang, for the size of it, so small and light. I'm used to the old times. We had these big, huge, clunky lights. They never lasted. They really didn't have that good color. So this tank will be uh, decommissioned and I will be getting a, uh, once again, I'll be set up to 70 gallons. So you guys will see that when I'm ready to get to that project. All right, we're one step closer now to setting up the fish tank that I've been planning in my head for over four years since I moved to Florida and how to get rid of all my fish tanks in New York. Well, I chose to get rid of it. I just refinished. Actually, my mother-in-law painted this thing and I just varnished it or put some uh, shine onto it. Sealed it up. It's looking good to stand. And it's ready for the tank. But I am now in shopping for a background for this thing. One of those in tank backgrounds, the new ones, not those little pieces of paper you kind of glue in the back of the tank, or I'm not going to paint it like I did in the old days, paint it black or blue. I'm going for an in tank, like some kind of, I don't even know what the material, it's kind of like an epoxy plastic material. It goes in the back of the tank and it gives it a realistic look to it. So you're going to turn the 70 gallon into like something cool. And now that the garage floor is all done, everything's looking really nice here in my garage. I'm uh, excited to get this whole thing set up. So I got my filter in the box, haven't even opened it up yet. My pen plaques, I'm really happy with the one I use on the turtle tank over there. So I, I gave up on Fluval, which is overpriced and I don't think it works that great anyway. And I'm going with the pen plaques. We'll show that whole setup when it happens. And uh, I got my LED light on top here. So things, I don't like that gravel. I'm getting rid of the gravel. I might go, I was going to go bare bottom and then I might go for sand. I don't know. I'm going to see. I'll have to decide what I want to get. But the stand is painted. All right. So I got the tank painted. The stand, I should say, painted. We put a little varnish on it. I put the tank, I emptied all the gravel out of the tank that was in there. There was like these big rock gravel in it. I'm going to use sand. You might hear some uh, a tank in the background. I don't have any other tanks. This is my turtle tank. <laughs> my turtle tub, it's a little sand area here so they can hang out and dry out and sun themselves. I have some albino red-eared sliders in here. I have some pink belly side neck albino turtles. There's one right there. So they pull their neck to the side. I have some long neck, or I should say snake neck Timor turtles. Very rare. These are captive bred. They were bred here. These are not wild. These are Timor snake neck. You see the long snake neck they got? Yeah. So they're all hanging out here together. But now we're going to set up the fish tank. Finally, it's been four years since I moved here to Cape Coral, Florida. I know you guys who follow the Muscle Fish channel probably are like, you know, they, you probably gave up hope that I was ever going to have another fish tank. Well, I, I got... I'm revitalized now. So I'm gonna start up this fish tank. This is a 75 gallon. I got my LED light I bought here for it. I bought the tank used uh, from a guy around the corner from here and that's what got me inspired. And I, I like I said, I, I cleaned it up. I painted the stand. My mother-in-law painted the stand actually and I, I just put the, the shine on it. I got two bags of sand. I'm gonna put a nice thin sand layer on the bottom here. But before I do that, I ordered a background from Aqua Decor. And it's a custom thin background that goes inside the tank. And I'm, once that comes, I'm gonna show you how I set that up. And you can actually hide your heater and your filter intakes and outtakes behind it. And I'm gonna do that. I, I said, you know what, if I'm gonna have one tank, at least to start with, it's gonna be really high end. So I got the the background. I also got some cool bamboo you'll see that attaches, you can silicone it to the bottom of the tank and, and give it some, uh, the appearance of like bamboo grown out of the bottom. So, and then that's what I was going to go bare bottom of it originally, but now I'm like, you know what, if I get all this stuff, I got to get the sand to kind of blend into the background. And then I'm going to possibly put some live plants in it. Definitely going to put some, some, uh, driftwood in there for sure. Here's my filter. Rather than go with the old fluvals I used back in the, uh, 
in my New York days, I went with these, um, I really, really like this Penplex Cascade. I use it on my turtle tub over there, a really big one. This one didn't need quite the biggest, the big size. So I'm gonna try this little canister, see how it works. They're really easy to get going. You prime them with this little button here. You don't have to worry about air in the line. It kind of gets it all out. Once again, it's a, it's a multi-level. You can see you have different levels. You can put um, the different carbon and the sponges, filter sponges. I'll show you that when I, when I set it up. Um, I put the little, uh, I probably will remove the carbon because I'm thinking about doing discus in this tank. And if I do discus, you can't have a carbon in the filter with discus because it messes up their navigation system in their body. So anyway, here's the tank. You saw I, I picked it up from. It's all cleaned up, ready to go. I'm just waiting for this custom background to come from Europe that I ordered. It was pretty expensive. It was like 300 something dollars with the three pieces of bamboo that the silicone to the bottom. I'll show you how that all sets up. We'll put the sand in there. We'll get the filter going. Get my, I get, I get a bubbler going in here. I broke the heater that I used my last time. I'm gonna have to order another one, but right now in Florida, it's like 95 degrees, so I'm not really worried about that. And this is out in my garage, by the way, which I just got the floors done recently here. Look, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these floors, these little flake floors. They kind of drop all the little pieces of flake on it and then they seal it over. It looks really good. It's one continuous piece. I love it. It makes, it look, makes my, my garage look brand new. Got my new freezer here which is, by the way, during this whole COVID crisis, it's almost impossible to get a freezer. I got super lucky. I went to Lowe's and they just happened to get, they got a shipment in, they had one left. So I, I got my new freezer. I could put my frozen food in here, especially if I'm gonna be doing um, discus. I can have my frozen blood worms in here. I can have my frozen beef heart in here, whatever I need to use. But this 75 gallon should be great. I'm gonna start it off probably with some like, Cardinal or Neon Tetras in here. Get them to cycle the tank. I'll put some catfish, you know, maybe some albino bushy nose cats in here. If they live for a couple, for like two weeks or so, we'll see how they look. I'll get a whole bunch of them in here. Then I'll decide, do I want to do discus or do I want to do angelfish? I'm, I'm on the fence right now. I love discus. The angels are easier, but discus handle hot weather better sometimes. And this is in my garage. so. In the middle of the summer, like it is now, it can get really warm in here. So even if the water got up to like 89 degrees, the, the, the discus are gonna be fine with it. I don't know about the cardinal touches, but the discus will be fine with it. Whereas the angels really won't like that because they don't, you know, they like warm water, but not that warm. So I don't know, we'll see. I could always throw, you know, I could always do water changes and cool the water down during the really hot days, but it's exciting. So we get the fish tank going. I also have another project going. Um, if you look out the window here, you can see that there's a property across the street from me and I'll do a little tour of everything. And we, we just purchased that property and there's a really, really cool koi pond over there with some monster koi. So we're gonna be doing a lot of new videos here on Muscle Fish. When I get over there, and start breeding these koi and uh, a lot of cool stuff coming up. So you guys, uh, if you tell your friends, man, subscribe. I know you guys have been watching the channel and, and supporting it these past four years when I've done absolutely nothing to it, but hey, it's time to start it up again. I'll be back, as Arnold Schwarzenegger says.